Ladies and gentlemen, you've already seen the stage being set for our next session, which is our third session, a panel discussion on the topic, Enhance Ourselves in the World of Technology. Dr. moderator Dr. Chiring Lama, who is the executive chairperson of Idea Studio Nepal, who health emergency But Mr. Upendra Pradhan has so kindly accepted our request and invitation to step up and be the moderator for this session. So can we all please put our hands together for Mr. Upendra Thank you so much, sir, for saving the day. All heroes do not wear capes. Please come forward. Upendra, sir, is the Adin General Manager of Sales, Daba Nepal Private Limited. Sir, I would suggest that you topic about technology, digital transformation, because he's also in our advisory board. So thank you very much, sir, for being here with us. I would now like to invite our panelists on stage, Mr. Balkrishna Gurung, National Sales Manager, Surya Nepal Private Limited. <laughs> Mr. Vivek Jha, Chairperson, VJ Consulting Private Limited. And Ms. Karvika Thapa, Chief Executive Officer of Kimbu Tech. Hamro panelists, Tinzana, a moderator, Kalagi Zordar Tali Ekchuti. It is going to be an exciting session, a fruitful session, a very, very knowledgeable session is what we expect. I would now like to hand over the proceedings to Upendra, sir. Good morning, everyone. I think everybody is sleeping. I believe we have salespeople here, right? So good morning, everyone. I think that's much better. Okay. Uh, I'll not take much time, though uh, uh, Mr. Chiring was not able to make because of his uh, health issues. So it is my pleasure, Mohanji, and uh, you know, to be able to speak to a lot of young people. And uh, this time, the, the topic that uh, Mohanji, let me sit and talk, I think that will be okay. Uh, uh, is about sales transformation, digitalization, okay? Uh, I have been in Dabur and I have been in this field of sales for the last 20 years and you know, uh, every year it has been about the challenges that we face in the market. Agi, uh, Mr. Amlan Le Bhannubhaya hai na? The salesperson is the key resource, the only uh, what do you call the only department that earns money for the company Re and uh, with all the respect to rest of the divisions rest of the departments you know but the sales people are the people who get money for the company okay so we are a very important part of the company but going forward I think everybody needs change and the world is changing the world is dig uh, digitalizing everybody is you know uh, going into <coughs> data so it's time for even Nepal to change and then move on to, you know, uh, sales with science. So uh, I would like to introduce uh, our three panelists here today. Mr. Bala Gurung from, uh, he's the NSM for uh, Surya Nepal uh, Tobacco, STC. Mr. Uh, Vivek Jha, he's a... Uh, Financial, from the financial sector, insurance sector, he does his own consultancy uh, business right now. And uh, Ms. Karvika Thapa, she's the uh, CEO of Kimbu Tech. So going forward, I would like to, you know, like, uh, it was a very sudden decision that I take the moderation. So I would like to request them to give a brief introduction of each other. Uh, so starting with Mr. Bala. Good morning. Uh, my name is Bala Guru. I'm from Surya Nepal. And as you know, the Surya Nepal is not a tobacco company, it's a diversified company basically. So we are the various business, the cigarettes, and agarbatti, matches, confectionery at the present. And future we are coming up more, more and more other products. So I'm just, I work in this company for the last 32 years. Um, I've been in various positions in this, this company since sales and marketing. I was in the, uh, I started like, you know, junior level, like a sales officers, then the business sales manager, then brand managers. And some year I had worked in India also in ITC company. And then I was heading the, our garment division. Then I was head of marketing for some years. Now currently I'm head of sales in Surya Nepal. So I think the, uh, it's very glad to see a large number of sales force after so, such a long time. 
So I hope you are going to have very fruitful and you know, delightful interaction with each other. Thank you. Namaste and good morning. This is Vivek here. Uh, I am Chartered Accountant. And uh, I do have little around two decades of experience here in Nepal. Basically, I was involved in uh, auditing sector initially. I got a chance to audit few FMCGs at that point of time, including some financial institutions as well. And uh, later, I went into banking for a couple of years and then in insurance the last one decade. Uh, then I thought like this is the right time that I should uh, switch myself for this consulting basically because I do have some experience that I struggled. What we call right now is, you know, transformation, uh, this digital transformation. Because uh, I thought like there has to be some sort of connection uh, between these tech guys and actually this management people, the person serving the organization so that they can understand each other's language. So now I decided that I should be in this field and I'm heading this VJ Consulting Private Limited. Thank you very much. Uh, Karvika Thapa, uh, currently uh, leading Kimbu Tech, um, but before in my past life, lived in US for almost uh, 14 plus years of experience. Uh, I did my master's in Michigan State and then uh, worked in Michigan as a state employee uh, for almost uh, three, three and a half years and then moved to Boston. Uh, Boston is where I got to work with the really great companies, Fortune 500 companies, uh, from sales to uh, retail to urban outfitters, like clients like Nike and uh, bigger clients and also in the healthcare sector, company like Boston Scientific and Medtronics, uh, doing different parts of tech, but more in terms of, uh, you know, in helping the sales optimization and kind of in that story. But uh, then one day decided to come to Nepal. And uh, since then, I've uh, been living here with the family. Uh, and we recently um, part of uh, VS International College, recently acquired that and, you know, being very, uh, actively in terms of uh, changing on the education or being part of or learning part of the education system uh, here. Thank you. Thank you, all of you. Uh, before we just start for the question session, and you know, I just want to have, you know, so that all of us are aware, how many people are you, uh, there from the FMCG background out here? If you could just raise a hand, we'll figure out, you know, FMCG? Okay, there's few lot of there, there. Okay, from banking sector? Banking and financial, wow. So almost 70% is in the automobile. Okay, a few of them. Uh, any other, any uh, rest, of rest we can figure out. So we'll keep that in mind and then uh, we will, you know, uh, structure our questions. So my first question to uh, Mr. Bala, and uh, I'll pass it on to Mr. Vivek and Karvika. So how is the market in Nepal. Let's first talk not about digitalization. Let's talk about the general market. Mr. Bala is the expert in FMCG. Mr. Vivek is the expert in financial and banking sector. And uh, uh, Karvika ma'am is the IT uh, background. So we will uh, go. So they will probably give us, you know, uh, their field, what happens in their field. So uh, I would just like to ask them, you know, what uh, how is the market in Nepal in your particular sectors now and how would you see it in next five to ten years? So let's start with Bala. I think I will talk about the all overall the FSC business. The FSC business in Nepal is, is an emerging business here and it's a lot of potential. If you look the before the COVID, the whole uh, this, uh, this business is, you know, growing by every year by 20% plus 20% plus increment every year. And due to this COVID, there was some hiccup there, but last year it has taken a lot of buoyancy in the market there. And I'll tell you, the efficiency category in Nepal going to exploit in uh, exploding in next 10 years there. So if you look, if you look, uh, even the lot of uh, even a lot of domestic industries also now you know putting a lot of effort on their manufacturing units or uh, new products are there. But this is very uh, one of the most potential business going to happen in Nepal there. Yeah, M Mr. Vivek. Thank you. <coughs> First of all, 
happy to see like financial sector ruling this room. <laughs> Uh, I hope uh, there are a few from insurance sector as well. So basically, uh, if we see around, uh, it's a tsunami of, you know, like digital transformation going on. major thing is we need to know our customers. Secondly, in uh, Mr. Amlan's presentation also, he talked about the salesperson of the automobile. Try to know the customer. So FMCC, ma, banking, ma, I mean banking, there are a lot of personalized uh, services happen. In automobile, a lot of personalized services happen. But in FMCG, as I am from the FMCG background, right, the personalized service looks a little jarring because in Tabor, my salesman, as uh, Mr. Bala said, 800 salesmen uh, caters to almost 1 lakh outlets. Nepal is going to be 1 lakh person. You know, to know each and every customer is a mammoth task. But if we you know, focus down, one salesman is going to be a person cater to. So we have to go around 200 outlets. That's the norm, you know, that one salesman will cover around 200 to 250 shops in a week. So, to 250 uh, customers, let the bosom, what does it, you know? So, so if we can understand their emotions, if we can understand a little bit of their story, if we can understand their emotions, if we can understand a little bit of their story, I think we will become a good salesman. So, that is one thing she said. And, um, as the IT people always say, sales, this is inevitable. You know, IT has to come into our lives. And it has already come. So in the US, Jun Isako uh, data analytics, Jun Isako AI processing, I think you guys all know, if you search something in uh, Google today, what do you think Facebook? So this is artificial intelligence, and this is how uh, companies are today. I'll, be, I'll just tell you a little bit about the <coughs> digital uh, marketing also she talked about. In Dabur also, we are again a very traditional company, right? I mean, it's very digital marketing, everyone is online and know. But last three, four years, we have started investing 20 to 30 percent of our marketing budget into digital uh, media. Right? 
ब्रेंड हो जो रेडियो हो जो अजेल सिनेमा हो जो है तो इन द लास्ट फ्यू इयर्स वी हैव बीन हाईली वी हैव बीन इंक्रीजिंग आवर इन्वेस्टमेंट इन टू द डिजिटल मीडिया व्हाई बिकॉज़ नंबर वन वेरी लॉजिकल प्रिंट मीडिया में तो अगर गई पाऊं जो टेलीविजन मीडिया में वी रियली डिडंट नो हाउ मेनी पीपल वी डू रीच देयर आर लॉट ऑफ स्टडीज इन इंडिया सीआरपी रेटिंग्स एंड ऑल हैपेंस इन द अदर कंट्रीज बट नेपाल में अनफर्टुनेटली वी डोंट हैव दोस सीआरपी रेटिंग्स सो उन चैनल ने कुन प्रोग्राम बड़ कति बेर हम पनि मेरो टिभी सेट खुलेर हेर्यो आई डू नॉट नो सो एज अ मार्केटर अल्दो आई एम अ सेल्स गाय आई एम जस्ट ट्राइंग टू ग्रेट टॉकिंग विद योर सो मार्केटिंग सो एज अ मार्केटर कति मैले पैसा खर्च गरेको डिलाइज इन फ्याक्ट यु नो द आरआई और नॉट आई डू नॉट नो बट थ्रू डिजिटल एज कार्मिका सेड वी कैन मेजर एवरीथिंग आज नेपाल मा पनि मैले कुनै पनि वेबसाइट मा या फेसबुक इन्स्टा ट्विटर एनीवेयर uh if i happen to pass it also i get an impression so i am told by the agency you spend 10000 rupees you get 1 lakh impression sir 1 lakh impression ma there is was engagement of 20000 people so i exactly know my roi of my investment so this is how the digital transformation is also happening in the advertising field so uh, i think we have around 20 minutes now so one quick question for again all three of you like is it is digitalization is transformation and automation or is data good or do you think it is taking away the human intervention you know too much data 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 matter is not tara aapko human like there is nothing like the human mind so do you think data is being you know mechanizing the human
But if you go to rural market, this is a proper outlet where you can count the lower, you know, lower end of the brand sells that. So what is that? We can, we can from that sales observation, we can find out what is the profile of outlet, and accordingly, we can, you know, we can do your, you know, uh, your, your distribution average, your market coverage, or even your uh, SQ assortment. So that you know, uh, yeah, your, your target consumer getting is a, you know, the, uh, the, the brand will be attracted. It doesn't mean that you should have a very premium brand in the market where the, there is no consumer there. So that, I think, whole this digital marketing and the sales automation really helps in terms of, you know, the sales team or the marketing team to, you know, uh, uh, what create the value to consumer, complete the value to consumer. And second, basically, to really to put your, make your efficient distribution element in the market. Sometimes a month or something like that, 
and uh, always you have to prove yourself that I'm, I'm, I'm an honest man. I'm not uh, ditching you, I'm not trying to get any extra benefit from you. Uh, so the, the feeling towards the, you know, uh, on the hand of the customer uh, is definitely is going to be very overwhelming and they always love to uh, have a, you know, um, business with you. So, so this technology is changing in that way. Uh, uh, regarding data, I mean, uh, data, in my opinion, this is the money. Data is money now. And we don't know, like, uh, uh, how much money we have in our banks. And uh, apart from this physical money, uh, under under your own desk, you know? Like, so, so uh, the, the, the loan customers today, the real loan customers today may be your future, uh, you know, the equity customers, they will be your big depositors. Uh, the depositors may be, uh, may become tomorrow your, your big uh, credit customers. I remember here the quarters, uh, you know, uh, story where we used to learn that uh, if you want to be uh, competitive, if you have, I mean, uh, if you want to have a competitive advantage, you have two options. Either you have to go for differentiation or you have to go for the cost. So either make it cheaper or make it different. But now the scenario has changed. You know, if you see when in our in our country where we don't know even what will happen with the interest rate, it's so volatile. Uh, I used to have a big pain when I, I was in an insurance company because I couldn't, uh, you know, like plan for my yield for the next year, even for the next year. During the year, I have witnessed that the interest rate has gone up from seven to twelve. Uh, that has happened. So, uh, so uh, till date, we, we are so concerned about the cost uh, thing that uh, sometimes the credit departments are in strain. Tomorrow, just go and we have changed the strategy. We are going to uh, float loans. And suddenly after two months, uh, you are coming, okay, okay, go, just go for the recovery and we are now, uh, everybody should be uh, utilized for, you know, deposit money. So, so the data and the, this, this, the predictions is so important that uh, your, your data uh, can be a big boon uh, to find out like how you should approach a customer, how you should uh, take it further. In, in the last one, I want to add here, is in the insurance uh, companies, uh, uh, you have to have this sort of, you know, this predictive analysis for even the new generation and all those things, even for your financial statements to be uh, produced uh, for the people. So for that reason also, it, it, uh, we, we have to, you know, like uh, abide by this actuarial valuation thing. And in every context, if you see, the quarterly report doesn't give you the true picture of your financial uh, uh, health of your financial till the time that actuarial valuation is done. And we have this, you know, uh, uh, stock exchange here where people are investing uh, on the basis of your financial statement which you are presenting. So, uh, as quarterly statement, when you are presenting the quarterly statement, the uh, profit or loss which you are showing is not the true picture. And you have to wait for another six or seven or eight or nine or sometimes a year to get that result from the actual. So, so the uh, software thing can change the whole lot of scenario here and you can come up with a picture like you will be uh, submitting your bank, submitting your bank statement in time. So there are lots and lots of things uh, by which, you know, by this transformation you are going to gain. Uh, there is no question at all that is going to, you know, uh, uh, and, and if you feel like uh, it's going to restrict the minutes inside the organization, if you feel like there is some sort of resistance to change, uh, my friend, believe me, you'll be left alone. So we have to embrace that. So the I think uh, yeah. being in this sector, this question is very, very uh, deep. Uh, um, technology, what it's doing is, like you said, um, you know, it's, uh, it feels like your customers are so far away and the in human intervention is missing. Uh, but let me show you the other way around. The way companies spending on you know, studying about your audience, investing in technology, sales optimization, automation, whatnot, right? The same way your customer is being smarter every day. They have all the tools in their palm to decide whether they want to buy from your company, right? So I think the companies, they, they have more challenge now than ever establish their integrity to, you know, do the right way of doing the business, right? Because customers know everything. iPhone is built in China, how it's built, where it's built, where it's coming from, who, you know, what 
everything, right? So your customer is more, they have more information now. And what brand image you're creating out there is impacting your sales, right? So it's so important never before to connect, like I said, in the right way. The way showing that your packaging are right, you know, like from environment, whatever that impact driven sales is going to be there for a long time. Because when I'm trying to buy, I'm sitting in my house, I'm deciding between Nike and Adidas. Previously, I would go to the showroom and buy whatever shoes, right? But right now, I want to see the pair of shoes that I'm wearing has the, is the, from the right business. That business connects with me. That Nike is producing that shoe the right way. The right uh, marketing that it's doing, the right impact that it's creating in the society, the way it's giving back to the society. Right? Those things are so important and we, we tend to lose that as we invest in tech and we say, you know, data is so raw, we don't know anything, right? So tool, it's a tools on intervention, puts on hold, windows running, has given you so much window now to make that connection with your customer more. Say that you are going in the community, giving back, you're making an impact, you're going uh, in the grassroots level and solving problems, you're not an, a person who's throwing dumb turf and you know, you're trash into the river, right? So those are all things that each one of you in this world, you know, is looking into every product that I'm buying, right? Every, you know, everything that I'm doing, you know, the customer is wanting to know your story. So we need to make it right. We need to do it right and we need to give it out there. We don't have to write it up anymore, you know? And we need to tell people that we're We need to bring it the right way to, to your customer. Okay, thank you, Karina. So I think we are now almost towards the end. So I would like the audience to, you know, uh, raise questions to the panelists. Uh, Mr. Bala, Mr. Vindik, and Karnika, so the respective people. So if somebody can give the mic, anybody, uh, let's have a quick. Yeah, please. Right. 
So right now, um, I see that even being in the data aware or data guided state, we are pushing constraints and everything. We are using data, but this is not going in the right direction. So what do you think is the right way? Because data consolidation is not only the thing, but data cleaning is also the thing. And I see most of the organizations do not do that. So I, think, I think Kavita can answer this. Yeah, thank you. Take one more question. Um, so, um, you know, data is itself, you know, can be a big issue that can go as deep. Uh, but I think, you know, uh, we're also missing out, you know, the how to study data that itself, you know, we have a few multi million dollars uh, room fill of surveys, you know, like I work for a company called uh, Marvel and they are one of the top in data uh, in US. So, you know, what, what it's all about, all we did was understanding data, right? How do we segment our customers? What group are you segmenting them? How is the, what is the segmentation group, right? You know, how do you categorize every data that comes in? Like I mentioned, Nike could data, Rakhi, I could see through data, like what's the categorized world, you know? So that next morning when Nike is trying to run the database, it has the right kind of data. Having said that, you talked about cleanup. The majority of the time, Zoom data clean boy. The iron was segmentation for rule border. Uh, customer like categorized gore to gore. So few categorized gore to dani or to gore. So there were millions of data that fall into the error. And of course, they address me, and of course, they apartment, ko number, and of course, they spelling. More company ko time and resource was spent on what do we do with that data? You do not make an error out of data like people. Who category for acne? Will I fact nobody buy it on? Will I go to So majority of the meetings, majority of the rules, majority of the time, the rules like question got to follow. We saw you do need to capture got it. So we added more server rules so that that rule is also captured. So I'll give you more technically Bitra boy. So wonderful matlab say data itself is, you know, a piece of art and piece of tech and how you want to use Nike Lady Bonte okay. These are error out you certain category of data say you a cause data manda matlab sign up with we are just good lists and we use got it and we are willing to take that risk. So I'm categorized segment got a sock in a bunny, but you can do you can use that risk for it. We are happy decision as a company, you can decide and send you say let's use and then we move on to the next step, right? So to uh, to process match again data na we will be more so but data lai uh, complicated no banai kona pani ekdam simple excel map on the visora dosora field rakhi ro timro data lai it can start your top 10 customers lai kasari analyze garni pani ro top 10 customer lai ki garna sakinchha i don't know how much i was able to capture your question yeah, i think uh, i think we are already out of time sadik shah is looking at me <laughs> uh, okay, so can uh, I take one last one because I think, uh, I think we take one more question from somebody else. Our panelists are going to be here during lunch as well, so you have yeah, plenty have of time to interact question. with them. So, if that question or the first button is her body, yeah, please. Check the organi. Then our panelists are not going anywhere. They're joining us for lunch, so our lunch time is on the other side. But they must ask me questions. Why are you so on the Let's make the question to the question. Yes. Sure. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, I am Sudhiji from Reliance Tech Insurance. Uh, especially the question is very direct to our life. I am going to say that some of the people have insurance and sales. But as I am going to say, the digital transformation topic is going to be very important. I am going to say that the insurance is very important. I am going to say that the digital transformation is very important. Inform Gordon will like to support the other. I'm the sales of course, Gordon will like it. The industry team as I'm going to say, sales closely Gordon. I think you are the people who discuss on Gordon as a problem. I think life insurance is black for my life. It's not going to be digital transformation. It says that close Gordon will like it. I'm going to say, focus it Gordon. So you are going to say, I'm going to go to the next question. Good question. Thank you. Very, very nice question. And you can give a concept to this. Basically, uh, you rightly mentioned that insurance to sell is very difficult. You know? The reason behind that is, in my opinion, I was 
say if you would desire to have that, I mean, you are not studying the first thing, listen to what you're saying. Now, it's all human uh, touch to put out and agency force. The morning is here, but I don't want to lie to me. I'm just my sales or insurance sales or an agent is here. So I took 4,000, 500 to insurance agent to number like 40,000 years ago. But still, we can only change the world's standard to it. Like productivity of the agents, you are agents, but our staff is not our policy by a year or not. So okay. And the next thing is like the size. You put it, you are level one after a bossy or two. The third one is like you are agents, you are product popular bossy or two. Zinda ki bol, ek hi matra jis se aur product ko bhi design karna hai. So we are talking about the, you know, like sales ko optimization ko bhi matra kar rahe hain. Mujhe pehli toh cheez mana lagta. I mean, go to for me, you know, say, more or less CRM man, they can't go to for it. Okay, what they put put up there, you know, the data is not related to that. There's a gap there, actually. I mean, so it's an ERP talk. It's a set ERP, which you do have there. So it's like complement what you put up, I'm not emphasizing. So insurance for money, you can push it to my own. So what I feel is, for you put up there, I mean, they have a lot of ease and automate for me. You know, where they are going, you know, I don't know, I'm so, I mean, I'm a sales person, I think that's what I hear. So I've been doing the center of my eight last day, eight days. और तीन लाइन मॉनिटर करने को लगी इट इस सो डिफिकल्ट आई थिंक टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट सो पहले वहाँ ना ऑटोमेट करो उन ऑटोमेट करता कि वहाँ ने कॉल लाइक अप्रोच करने को आने सा कॉस्ट लाइक अप्रोच करने को आने सा प्रोडक्ट भी राइट है उनका फॉर एग्जांपल इफ आई मोनी वन वांस ट्वेस्ट टू हिम आइडर हिम से यस � तर वहाँ से मैं ये कि इट इज़ नॉट बेस इन बेस और वहाँ के पूरे आपने पूछने बात करने पाएंगे ना हमें तेरा ऑप्शन बना के ना सकते हैं नहीं हम लोग बोर्ड रूप में बोल सकते हैं हम लोग सेल्स को मेंशन करें सर्विस बोल सकते हैं कुछ ऐसे बोलना सकते हैं एक्चुअली उसको चॉइस तो यो थियो लाइक मनी बैक एंटिसिपेटेड because our hiring process, you know it very well, because we are taking pressures. But this way, I mean, I think it was only insurance is very difficult to put it on his accounts. So, you start at the same time, and the automation might be a line, but this could be this much data generally. Definitely, I believe this much, I mean, one of the best sector of your insurance, brand is also going to your transportation, and like the direction of your transfer. Rather, all of you have time on the source of a polygon that you want to be a little bit like it. If not, then we can talk again after this uh, session, and I'd love to explain you what I know. Thank you. Thank you, sir. You'd want one more question? One more question. Yes. Okay, yes. Okay, yes. Okay, yes. Okay, yes. Last question. Mike, okay, sir. So let's make the question. There, 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 there. Okay, okay, okay. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yes, I mean, over to the discussion. If digitalization has really arrived, then things can only escalate from here, right? So, you know, if you do not come to terms with it, you will miss the bus. That's for sure. Now, my question is I mean, in terms of the skill set that our workforce has, workforce at large has, and are they prepared to take up the challenge? You know, a related question would be, do you see a need for some change in the syllabus of the courses that you teach in our you know, undergrad and postgraduate programs? Because if I'm not wrong, you know, I come from education background as well. I mean, most of the MBA programs do not include data science or let's say digital marketing as some full-fledged course, right? So do you see some gap here? Something on this? we are looking for or most of the companies looking for might not require too much of education you know, as you I think so each person of us also knows how to open the YouTube and you know search for his or her cartoon and see so probably I think this needs to be worked up by the company as you uh, if, if I uh, uh, want my uh, 200 or 800 salesmen to be you know trained again yes that we have to do but college for a person, I don't know. But uh, when it comes to digital marketing, there was another uh, point you uh, picked up. Yes, digital marketing has to be taught. 
and uh, because there is so much, uh, you know, uh, technical uh, things in digital marketing, as Mr. Ms. Karthik was also talking about, you know, it's, uh, there's so much of this thing there. And I think a lot of the MBA colleges have been uh, putting digital marketing as one of their uh, subjects in the MBA classes. That, that I agree. But for the salespeople, in order to imbibe the uh, digital transformation in terms of implementing what they are supposed to do, Rizukani go a Disney ho, as we all agree, he has he has to sell. Bodhi ko nahi Disney ho. Only thing the company is wanting is Rizu kaam bichu we did not know. Tomorrow kaam bichu we will know. So for that, as Kajika said, we give them one more burden that they enter the same MUA software wherein we get to see. So I think it's still debatable. Yes, we need to train our courses. We need to train our young people towards the digitalization. But another way I also see digitalization, which has you, as everyone said, inevitable. So I think uh, my son is much more digitally you know, aware and uh, savvy than me. So I think that's there for everyone. So that's what I think I would say. And I would like to end this thing by uh, 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 one uh, takeaway that digitalization is a process. It's inevitable in our own personal life, in our company, or globally. So we have to imbibe into it. But at the same time, we cannot uh, you know, go away with a human touch. And we need to know our customers. We need to keep the human touch. We need to the human uh, thinking alive, but at the same time going digital, you get much more information that you can take decisions on. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Mr. Bala. Thank you very much to our fabulous moderator and our panelists for such an interesting and insightful session. It is indeed the need of the hour in technology. Having money, we make sure that we update our personal social media as for the viral work as well. So, we post that, we update that. Our LinkedIn has become our CV. So, digitally, we have a lot of information. 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 We have a lot of businesses. We have digital tools. We have a lot of maximize sales, generate more revenue, and make it easier for their consumers, customers, and employees as well. So thanking our fabulous panel, I'd like to invite on stage Samsana Ma'am and Sunil sir to kindly present a token of appreciation to our panelists. <laughs> Mr. Balakrishna Guru, National Sales Manager, Surya Nepal Private Limited. Mr. Vivek Jha, Chairman of BJ Consulting Private Limited, and Ms. Kavika Thapa, Chief Executive Officer, Kimbotech. Can we all, ladies and gentlemen, give a big round, round of applause for this fabulous session? I know questions are definitely really fabulous in the online and talk, online and here for me because this is to do with technology and digital transformation. But this session and uh, this session was sitting in between you and your lunch. So the value go the energetic morning voice of you, and I hope the afternoon will also be like that. Thank you very much to our panelists. And we'll definitely see our moderator as a commentator in the session to follow as well. And that is when we shall facilitate, felicitate him. Thank you, Mr. Binder Pradhan, for so brilliantly uh, moderating everything as well. So before we break for lunch, I want to give three more gifts. Hunza? Ready? Ready? So three more gifts I want to give. This is from Hammond's uh, Fly Catcher. We are a group photo and Emily has hands on. Meanwhile, the group photo is happening. Please get ready for three questions. You think that question for Sahih Zawaf Dinu Boy Wane Chai Hammond's Fly Catcher Vada Tinta Gift Na Pahe Pounos of Nu Wane Chai Big, bright, beautiful smiles. Thank you to our moderator, to our panelists, Sunil Sir and Samjul Anand as well. Now it is quiz time. Can we have quiz time on the screen? 
को बंसर करोड़ पर दिल्ली से फीक नहीं रहता, बट यूज़ एक गिफ्ट वाउचर्स आने में चल, तो को बंसर गिफ्ट वाउचर को विनर्स जस्ट हो यूज़ एक आइली लाइन। I'll ask three questions, and the first question is already on the screen. Name the largest, not the highest mountain range in the world. And is all right. White shirt, sit down, guys. Look at that. So my dear, Agadi, come on, sir. The bailer, yes, please. So you sir, let me know. Open a page on stage, ma. I think it's like you're not going to change, sir. You give me the name, lagi. The end is is the correct answer. The bailer, Papa, boy, go, sir. Hammond's fly catcher, get the bat, or your gift hamper, or your Sunday gift. We hope that you will enjoy this. Many, many congratulations. The next question is, where is the lowest natural place on planet Earth? Dead Sea. I have a slightly different Dead sea. Dead sea. answer on my tab. Dead, Dead Sea. Don't ask me. Dead Sea. Dead sea. Yes, that's the correct answer. The Mariana Trench, can you please come forward? So, Malay Titi and Titi Kuthi Matri, Koji Latu, so many, many congratulations. The Bailey Bin Pao Nwai Gata, Hammond's Fly Catcher, the Thought for Bata Yu, Gift Hamper. The last quiz for today, for lunch, before lunch, is when was Provision of Nepal formed. Decided by your question. Of Twentieth September two thousand fifteen. Twentieth September two thousand fifteen. Please, Agar Yamu, sister, Agar in front, Shubhik Basera. Many, many congratulations to you as well. Very, very badai sir. Some of them have been very strange about them. They have been very advised to be bored. They have been very 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 bored. Mr. Krishna Prasad Subedi, Head Retail Liability, Branding and Corporate Communication. Thank you so much, sir, for your valuable inputs in making the Sing Summit 2022 bigger and better. We really appreciate and value your inputs. Thank you very much. Thank you, Samjana ma'am. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for a lunch break. I hope to see you all back in about 45 minutes because we have more keynotes and interesting session after this. Paitalis Mint go, your lunch break go, your subway zana, your hall bitra, punai vinunsa, mani hami a big shali katsong so that we can start our sessions right on time. Thank you very much. Connect our regular marketing and sales strategy and plan along with our digital digital tools or digital transformation, right? So uh, talking a little bit, I think that's more important, you know, in the next coming years is to really connect with traditional theories and change it or, you know, kind of align it as you grow uh, and taking the benefit of tech, right? So that's so important. And I, I'm sure we'll talk more about that in the deeper conversation. But from my sector, you know, uh, tech, since I do offshoring uh, primarily to Israel and US, uh, so we have a dedicated sales team in Israel uh, and we bring business and we are catering clients from right here in Nepal, uh, you know, building one of the world's top technologies around the world, right? So what it says is that we have the resources right here in Nepal. We need the opportunities and right guidance and kind of cater them a little bit, you know. At first, we weren't sure if we can do that, right? But right as we go through the process and been in this for three, four years and working with multiple tech companies here, we know that there's a talent, there's an understanding, and tech has made the world smaller. Like, you know, even uh, sometimes, you know, Microsoft or Amazon is also using Facebook as their marketing strategy. And we have Facebook easily available here that we can use as a platform. So technology has made the world smaller and has given us the 
best tools uh, that exist for the top companies in the world. We have those tools in our hands, even so far away in the world and so far behind. Uh, but we have those tools. So how do, we, how do we use those tools in the right direction is what I feel is missing here in Nepal. Uh, you know, we are learning a little bit. We are, you know, testing a little bit. You know, uh, uh, COVID happened. That pushed us a little bit, you know, out of the necessity. Uh, especially in the education sector, you know, we saw a big, uh, you know, increase in demand uh, in terms of tech. Uh, you know, there wasn't there before that. So um, those are all the things. Having said this, you know, the next five years in this sector is all boom, booming and great and potential and whoever goes in there is going to capture the market. And, you know, whoever is going second and third is have to do a lot more work. So all of these things come. So what I want to, you know, say is, how, and we'll talk more about it, and how the marketing plan or the sales plan using the digital uh, uh, digital to enable us to be ready for the next five years. How do we be, become ready today so that we can cater to the next five years, right? Are we ready for that? Is Nepal ready for that? And this is not only international, right? Internally, we are seeing every sector, health, there's not a single sector that is not demanding for digital uh, or digital optimization or digital, uh, you know, a transformation, right? There's not a single sector and tech has not become a separate sector right now. Tech is part of your um, life, part of your company, part of your job. If you are lacking behind in tech, you're lacking behind. You better get that skills and up and going for the next, be re being ready for the next five years. Thank you. Well, that's, uh, you know, a big challenge from the IT people, you know. We as companies, we really need to change and imbibe, uh, you know, sales digitalization, automation. I'll tell you a small story that before we go to another, uh, so because today David also told us, taught us to uh, tell stories, so I'm also very, you know, uh, I was motivated to give another story from my side, okay? Abhi, uh, I'll speak a bit in English and Nepali uh, because you will get the essence of it. Uh, barsa, and I have my team, some of our team is here, they will relate very much. Uh, barsa paila, um, I used to be uh, one of the sales uh, managers and uh, we used to sit in the office, we used to have some data, I always loved data, okay? So I, was, I used to go to data, guide the team, give them, you know, information, and some of the sales guys were not very happy with that, you know. They says, sir, tabe office ma boshera laptop ma sell garnu huncha. Hami chai yaha ghaam ma kudera kudera sell gari rachu testo pani huncha. You know, that time I felt bad, you know, like yaar hami ta kamai na garke jasto bhani halle. Okay? That only he is working, you are sitting in the AC office. Partly, yes, it is true. But 20 years down the lane, now I... Uh, now, uh, we had a discussion last few weeks back also. If there is no one back in the office to look at data, to analyze that data, we cannot give the direction to the team. So, laptop bada sale garnu, as a good ma, it has become a necessity. You have to do analysis, you have to do data-driven analysis, and that data analytics, analytics has to give us some direction to what we do, what we sell, and especially to salespeople, they're in the field. We do, we do not have, you know, high, in, especially in Nepal, we do not have apps. Uh, probably the story which uh, Mr. Amlan talked about, about the automobile industry, you know, like, you know, the automobile guys were already done their homework and then they were ready with, you know, giving a very personalized service. That might not happen in FMCG because your customer is going to change every five minutes. Every five minutes you are going to have a new retailer or a new uh, customer that you are dealing with and of different kinds. So, uh, basically this whole story is about data analysis, Hamile laptop mavin sale gone for that. So that's the key line. Okay. So I would like to throw another question to our panelists here. So uh, to Mr. Bala again, 
uh, what do you mean by digitalization or automation in your sector? And similar to, uh, similarly to Mr. Vivek and Karvika uh, going forward, how would digitalization or automation in your sector help? And what are the pros and what are the issues or what are cons, cons into uh, digitalization? Yeah, ba Mr. Bala. See, digitalization is basically sales force. I can only say one word. It should help my sales team. It should basically you know, imp improve the efficiency of my sales team in terms of selling my goods or selling out from the, good, uh, from the outlet here. We should not be on a trap of the, you know, we need the whole uh, digital uh, automation in the sales team because there, there's a large number of issues. We need to, we need to really uh, analyze the data here. So what are the, where, where are the issues are there? What, what is the problem? We can take action on that. But we should not be trapped on that whole uh, numbers of data on that. That's what the first fundamental thing, you know, to me uh, in the Surya Nepal here. Second is basically, you know, we, uh, and, and, and we should only do the digitize on that area where, is, where is, there is a requirement. We should not digitize everything, everything area because there is come a lot of data to us which, you know, we somehow trap on the data itself there. So that's something which, you know, I think we should be very careful on this because one thing we have to be very sure Digital is going to help us, but as a sales team, and I'm the very old-fashioned guy here, no, we should use that, but we should not, we should also have to be very careful in terms of our, you know, our interaction with our customer, consumer. That is physically. This is also very important there. So where is there where you got a lot of insight about the, uh, about the basically, you know, your market, your consumer, your product. Digital only going to help you enhance your skill or, or getting, uh, uh, or, uh, you know, increasing efficiency in the sales there. But it has to be, you know, uh, as for your requirement. That's my... my so way. has, uh, in, uh, let's come to talking about STC, has uh, digital process or uh, digitalizing or automating your sales or the, your sales force, has it helped you in the last four or five years? Definitely, definitely, you know. If so, how? Uh, I'll tell you, uh, 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 you know, our Sri Nepal sales team, our digital automation is not very significant, not very big, and we have done started very late only. But if you look at our organization, whole you know IT intervention is say in the factory or in the finance or HR has been done some years before. But since the off late, we have all thought that we need this you know all uh, IT intervention or di uh, digital help in our sales team. So biggest thing, what I put up in the you know what is the objective of doing this uh, in our sales team. Basically, it, to it has to help my sales team, and it has to increase my efficiency of my, uh, my, my sales force. So, uh, you know, as a, uh, as a efficiency business, we had a, uh, a network, basically, we got distributor, and distributor supply to wholesaler, and distributor supply to a retailer. A retailer supply goes by one hour, cycle man. We call DSS, basically. So, so, so what we had done, we had started one, you know, uh, we had uh, made one application work called Van App, Van App, where my sales team will go there, there's a predefined routes, predefined outlets. He goes to that wholesaler that particular day, and how much stock they lifted, they just put the data there. And same like my, my DSS, how many stock in the morning they, they carry in the cycle or a motorcycle, and how much they sell, they just uh, basically my counter guy keep that. My own officers or managers just go to online and see what is the attendance and what is the sales there. So that is help in terms of, you know, uh, like, you know, uh, absenteeisms of the people, my van has moved or not, my days have come or not, and after that, every weekly or monthly, you can track that, you know, what is the monthly sales, which wholesaler are not picked up, which DSS are no, uh, no, not sold, these SQs. So that basically help them in terms of, uh, in terms of analyzing the, you know, whole data and take the action on this. The biggest challenge was not basically building up the application, the biggest challenge was implementing in the market there. Okay, because the whole my sales team was starting telling sir, you care by earlier, you know, what is your what this, you know, so sales to buy that, yeah, or, you know, why you need all this automation, why you need all the IT interventions, is there some CIA behind us, okay, you are tracking us, <laughs> we are working or not on market. Then that is, you know, that sim simple intervention take me some one and a half years to implement the market there. A lot of patience, because that something which I have to sell to the idea to my team, and team have to see some success, Today, my team basically, you know, they are so happy with that intervention, ki and, 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 and they're very happy that, you know, whenever I ask them some question to them, they give me on the database. You, you last month you have you sales here, 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 and this is the action we have taken that. So that's something is very, well, uh, today I'm finding that it's really helping us, 
and I can see a lot of my, 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 my SQs or my, my brands, it is impacting my sales, speci especially our focus, our company focus on more on premium brands. I'm saying like, you know, uh, niche brands, the high uh, premium brands. So premium brands are very small in, in numbers there, but that's very uh, important for the portfolio in terms of the company profitability and, and, and other area. Today, I can see that my whole that premium segment growing. And my teams are today have, have data to basically, you know, uh, CLIs. And uh, just going back on that, you know, earlier, when we do want to do any analysis, my team should take a, a, some 20 days to basically to, you know, collect the data, then analysis and take an action plan. Today, the whole that data collection has been zero now. It's also online, it's everything become online now. So they are get, giving more and more time to analysis and taking action. But that is really going to transform, you know, uh, transform in terms of the, uh, my team efficiency and even is coming, uh, impacting my sales also. You know, it is basically increasing on that. So that's something which I think we are very proud of that we have done that and uh, it's implementing very good in the market now. Yeah. yeah, thanks Bala. So what I understand from uh, what Bala is saying, right from a very simple thing like attendance, you know, attendance, the office, you have the, you know, face recognition, you have the thumb uh, attendance, you have the card swiping and all that text. But what does a guy in the sales uh, force do? So in order to do that, I think the f first and foremost advantage that uh, the sales guys get, the sales force or the company gets is how many salesmen went to the market today? As a summon, you are very amilam in challenge. Kati jana salesman absent boy, kati jana salesman present boy, we don't even know. Because like for STC, how many salesmen would have been working? I think we have more than 800 salesmen. So 800 okay. salesmen working across Nepal, eh? So ek ek jana track gone no possible in China. But with digitalization, I think it's absolutely easy. Right from attendance to, you know, analysis of uh, brands, you know, Surya Bike ki, Kukuri Bike ki, you know, like uh, they are able to, and in what geography, which beat, which shop did not sell Kukuri for the last three months? I think that data you yeah, get. Yeah, and I then the salesman can go and tell, Saoji Tabele, the three mahina voice ke Kukuri besu maasena, why is that? So those kind of analytics, I think, uh, can happen. Uh, so now I'll just go to Vivek ji with the same question but with a little bit tweak uh, into uh, you know uh, the financial uh, sector if you can tell us uh, how does it impact the financial sector what are the pros what are the cons what are the legal uh, hassles that you guys have to face thank you very much uh, lots of things to learn thanks balaji uh, uh, actually uh, i'll take you uh, in the past like basically uh, when we uh, remember the brick and mortar banking, basically. So, uh, you know, like the customers are changing, their expectations are changing now. So as per this, you know, millennial uh, disruption index, they say, as per the survey, seven out of 10 millennials rather prefer to go to their dentist than banks. And uh, this is the fact, actually. And the reason behind that is, if you, we, re, we all remember when we were uh, uh, at our childhood, nobody wants to go to the bank to avoid, you know, the long queues. You can uh, even uh, witness those things as well in the today's world, also in the remote areas, but not in Kathmandu at least. So uh, how I see it is uh, now the customer experience is the basic thing. You have to, uh, you know, try and meet the customer expectations. What they want, how they want. You need to be everywhere, anytime, and on any device. That is very important. So uh, I'd like to put it in a way, for financial sector, this digital transformation is inevitable now. You cannot say like, okay, I'll do it gradually. You have to come up and you have to start it now. Otherwise, what will happen is, you know, this, this new generations, they are everywhere. They are, they, they are experiencing the best services possible, available in the world. And when they, when they come back to uh, the country and when they uh, relate with the services they are getting outside, uh, it is going to, you know, like the frustrate them. Like in, in, in which world we are living right now. 
So for me, there are four priorities uh, which we need to, uh, you know, uh, we need to prioritize in this financial sector uh, through this digital transformation. One is definitely this customer exp experience. And uh, for that, you have to find out what their expectations are, what they want. Number two will be like your operational efficiency. That is very important. Uh, for customer experience, I have seen like the banks are doing a lot, not insurance company till date in Nepal. Uh, at least they are, they are simplifying the payment uh, services. Then the third one will be, uh, uh, you know, like this data-driven intelligence. That is very important, what uh, Balasar is also trying to point out. And in our case, for customer acquisition to retention, or for, you know, like cross-selling or upselling, you need to have that sort of intelligence inside the organization to tell you to save your time, rather preparing big reports, to get it on a real-time basis and uh, 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 make it logical and put it in, a, in your boardroom to plan for the next product, to plan for how you're going to approach your customers. And the fourth one, uh, definitely we are a regulated industry here, the banks, insurance. So you are quite concerned about the, you know, uh, your financial insight, about, about your, uh, uh, you know, the control, the risk management part. So for me, these four uh, uh, are the, these are the four pillars uh, where we need to you know concentrate uh, at the time of this uh, you know uh, transformation when how we, we we have to prioritize it. One thing I'd like to share with you is like not uh, outside the country but in in the country within the family. Once I asked uh, uh, you know a teenager like, do you know insurance? I just wanted to try out like figure out why everybody is so I mean. They hate insurance. Like, why? I mean, if there is any in insurance guy approaching you, you feel like some alien has come, and uh, I, I should be, I mean, going here and there uh, and should avoid uh, the meeting, rather. So, so uh, he was of the, yes, I know insurance. I, I also know that this is very important, but not the insurance of this kind, which is available in our country. So why is that? Why, why you don't want to do that? I mean, he simply answered me like, I don't want to talk to the people. So it means like uh, you, you uh, are thinking in a different way. You don't want people come to you and give you big lectures and then try to convince you. Nobody wants to be sold, you know. So, so in that sense, um, I believe we have to, uh, you know, work uh, in a way that the customers will love to be with your institution. They need to have this, you know, seamless, uh, om Omni-channel experience, uh, maybe it will be a gradual process. We cannot jump in, in, into everything. It will be uh, very complex. And the customer should feel like it's an ease of process for me. I can compare the things uh, through my phone. Uh, I can uh, go and check like what other customers have to say for this organization. And uh, basically, uh, uh, the very you know efficient service. So for banks, uh, uh, I think uh, we all will agree to one point: is that though we are working on a experience part, we are engaging customers, we are notifying them with their different messages or different transactions, things alerts are there. We are educating more or less for our project, I mean products and all those things. We are trying very hard on our data, data security part. We are doing this for them. For, the, for, for these things, they are quite concerned. But one thing I still believe is like, if I have to open an account in a bank, even today, the most, you know, the, the, the thing which uh, is so uh, a big hassle for me is the KYC. I, if I go to A bank, I have to fill it up. If I go to B bank, again, I have to fill it up. If I go to C bank, again, I have to fill it up. There are lots and lots of documentation process going on. When I used to be, uh, you know, like uh, CEO in a life insurance companies, uh, we need to have, you know, uh, you know, in, in not in hundreds, maybe, uh, if I'm not wrong, maybe in thousands accounts. And every time I have to sign. And even for the next branch, if, if it is a one bank where they have uh, maybe 100 branches, 
So if I have to open account in any other branch, because basically you know deposit are always always scarce, and so we always used to be on a hot seat that everybody, every branch managers are coming, and they are asking for the new bank account. And I have to put the signature on, on all the specimen cards. So I believe if I'm staying somewhere till the time I'm not changing my address, it has to be, there has to be some sort of centralized system by which it can be, I mean, the problem can be solved because nobody wants to put a signature on, a, on a thousands of cards. So this is, this is one thing. Another one is like there are lots of, you know, this um, lending process, this credit, credit lines, you can say. Where you know the, you do not have to. It's a it's a safe kind of things. Uh, like uh, if you are giving loan to uh, you know salaried uh, saving accounts people, a uh, person who is working in some organizations, you have that relation with the organization. But you cannot. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, do I uh, complete the process within a minute? It still takes you uh, days or sometimes weeks to complete those things. And uh, and, and 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 I feel like. If we will continue doing like this, uh, imagine tomorrow we are talking about P2P banking. We are talking about the fintechs. We are talking about the new people, teenagers. Maybe tomorrow we can find a few people from this hall who will have a, you know, um, multi-billion banking systems, uh, the, the, the fintechs. So if we ignore these things, if we don't embrace it right now at this present time, Maybe tomorrow will remain like what we were uh, discussing. I mean, what uh, from the quote I have started, like seven out of ten millennials uh, rather visit their you know dentists than banks. So this is this is uh, the area, this operational efficiency where where we have to uh, you know like start now, and uh, we have to work together with the top management in the banks uh, uh, to bring these uh, changes uh, to make it more uh, smoother. Regarding data, I, I'll believe, like uh, in the insurance sector, uh, I still remember the day when, when I first uh, entered this insurance sector and I asked my sales team that why our agents cannot uh, predict their business for a day at least. Why they cannot say, tell us, like, okay, today I, I'm going to try for a business of 50,000. They said, no, 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 you don't know insurance because you came from the bank. So you talk like a banker. This is insurance and it is very difficult thing. You cannot predict sales share. It is not like FMCG or something like that. You cannot go and to your stockist and say that you have to put this stock. You have to buy it no matter. Tomorrow we'll settle the things. So, so what happened is it took me around uh, three months to convince them. Like if you can put this thing and how you are approaching your customers, Tomorrow, this data is going to be uh, 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 a beneficial for you only. It's not for the for the institution. So, what I believe is, if the persons obviously, whenever you are uh, coming up with the new technologies, there will be resistance to change. There will be some misconceptions. There will be myths like it is going to cut our job or something like that. Or new people will come, teenagers will come, and the, they, they 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 are going to give us a challenge, and I, we don't know how to use it. So I believe there has to be some sort of holistic approach that is the 360 degree approach from the top to bottom. And it, it is not like only uh, the CEOs are just uh, putting the things on the table. It has to be interdepartmental things. And sometimes from the new, new you know, teenagers, they will put up the things uh, on the table. And if we are going to do that in, in, uh, in that way, definitely it's going to uh, you know, enhance the experience of the customers and going to have a better uh, feeling of the uh, organization and uh, enhance your sales. So for now, it's uh, one of these things, maybe from next time. OK. So that was a great, this thing. So again, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like telling you a story. <laughs> OK. Uh, most of you are from banks, OK. Uh, few, I think one or two years back, I wanted to open an FD in some bank. And then that person said, sir, you have to fill in the form, you have to sign, then only FD fills up. Okay, so I had to go, I, that was my need, I went, I opened the bar. So just one, one or two months back, I also got a call from uh, another bank and said, sir, nowadays I think a bank, uh, you know, a lot of people, uh, FD, <laughs> so please do invest something. 
in my bank. So one bank uh, RM called me and said, sir, topic of the ticket, Pesa saving my Rasmunda, FD got no say, Egar person be as I said, okay, that's fine. But I said, Boini, one thing I cannot do is I cannot come to your bank and I cannot fill that form and uh, do. No, 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 pardon, sir, app, sir, topic on app, sir, yes. You go to the app, there is a fixed deposit, uh, you know, a section. You just go write the amount, just click it, and your FD is done. I said, if that is, uh, if two bhaiyavane bani, I'll do it in five minutes. And I went to the app. So that was the change I saw in the banking sector. So I think, and probably that that you know that uh, hassle of going to the bank, signing the paper, you know, photocopy, all those things, also you know, were hindrances for. So I think I also see a very uh, bright side from the digitalization. Uh, digitalization process in the banking and finance sector. I'm sorry, Karvika ji. So let's hear from you, but I'll tweak the question a little bit for you because uh, I would like to ask you, you know, what are the changes, what are the challenges that is happening in the IT sector and what should Nepali companies, how should the Nepali companies go forward and take the, uh, and how, as you already mentioned, you know, you don't do it today, you are left behind. Okay, so, but how do we do it? You know, but uh, Garasa, because I myself have been working on this project since Dabarma, uh, uh, we are also, you know, uh, the backbenchers in the digitalization process. I know digitalization. the challenges. So I think Karvika ji can just give us an insight on what should we do and how should we do it. Uh, great question, um, uh, panelists. Are looking. Dere question, dere cover gari saknu uh, So agi ko azu ko story ma mathe ambara start garna chahe. Sales ma already ma leito deliverable garnu parni cha. One more technology le ayra mala thopar das. Firi tio seeka, tio download gara, tisko password samja. Ani firi have to go ani tisla manage kar. So the management is just throwing you technology. Aside from sales, why should I 